MSPA in Indonesia has been involved in many programs uh, addressing the um, women's uh, human rights issues, uh, issues of delivery, maternal mortality, and so on. And in this context, uh, focusing on strengthening and working with midwife has been one of the key focus areas of UNIFPA program, especially in the current program of UNIFPA, which is <coughs> the ninth country program covering 2016 to 2020. In this particular program, the focus and emphasize on the role uh, of, of midwives has been even greater. And we are very lucky that UNIFPA is now partnering with Government of Canada in pursuing this work, this program objectives, in a more efficient and responsive manner. What UNIFPA believe is that the workforce, the Indonesian midwifery workforce, is fully capable of not only doing their traditional role, which is attending to the deliveries, but work more effectively even beyond the traditional role. And UNIP will be working with Midwifery Association and other partners to ensure that eventually the midwives in Indonesia are taking greater role in addition to the role that they have. I'd like to give you an example, a very small example with a huge impact. During the humanitarian crisis in Lombok in Sulawesi, the Indonesian midwifery workforce were engaged to help the women who are in needs. And they effectively address not only the delivery issues, but also the women's rights issues in that particular area. I would like to mention that during the tsunami situation or during the humanitarian crisis situation, the situation is extremely difficult. You don't have communication, you don't have infrastructure which has been destroyed. There's not even running in clean water. There's not electricity and sanitation is in a bad situation. But in spite of this, we saw in Lombok and Sulawesi that the Indonesian midwives assisted 724 deliveries. They conducted 6,126 antenatal sessions and provided family planning services to more than 1,400 women. Given that it was extremely difficult situation, this is a remarkable achievement. So this simply shows that the midwives in Indonesia are fully capable of not only working in a very difficult situation, but ensuring the result of their work is of high quality. Excellency Peter uh, mentioned just before in his remarks that the area of gender-based violence is an area that we all have to pay attention to. And therefore, we believe that the midwives could play a greater role in this area to raise awareness of the community, the woman in the community, the man in the community, and even ulamas, working with ulamas to ensure that gender-based violence is prevented, or at least reduced in those communities. One more issue, and that is female genital, uh, genital mutilation, which is emerging very fast in Indonesia. That's another area that the midwife can play a greater role to ensure that gender-based, sorry, uh, female genital mutilation is prevented or reduced in the communities they work. So these were just some examples that midwives can be more effective in serving the community in addition to their traditional roles, which is helping deliveries in the community.